just been here. We can't move. We can't nothing. Yeah, some families still stuck inside their homes after this week's flooding. That includes the woman you just heard from. Channel 5's Monica de Anda continues our flood coverage. She is live in Mission. And Monica, how's it looking out there? Yeah, we, we put about 12 gallons of Clorox here to eliminate all the smell and to eliminate all the germs that we have here. Flood water covers the entire back portion of the Rodriguez family home. Uh, the water has feces. Uh, it's coming out with water spiders. Uh, they have eggs on their back. Uh, there's water snakes. A concerning situation for the entire family, including a three-month-old baby. Because we can't even use the restroom, we can't shower. Nothing, nothing. If we, if, we, if we were to flush that toilet, everything's coming up and we're screwed. Their worries growing as water continues to rise. It's very hard because you feel you're throwing it up into the air and nobody's listening, nobody's watching, nobody's like caring at all. And just down the street, similar situation for the Gallegos family and the five children living there. They're overwhelmed and they're sad seeing, you know, how the water is just is not going anywhere. You know, this is their house. This is, this is you know, their, their, this is supposed to be their shelter. Both families with the same message to county leaders tonight. Please come and help. We have a lot of families that are, just, are having to stay here. They have nowhere else to go. And that was Monica de Anda reporting. We did reach out to the commissioner of that area. A spokesperson for his office told us they have been working with the community service agency to relocate families while they work on pumping all that water out. They also got permission from the irrigation district to put a pump in the canal in an effort to help move the water out of there as quickly as possible. If you still need help, you can call the Precinct 3 office. The number is 585-4509.